So let's look at Galilean transformation. Definition, please. I said Galilean transformation is a method of transforming quantities between two different reference frames. That's all. Different reference frames. That's all. Think about this. Given, given a reference frame for A and B, uh, full stop, take a paragraph, just continue, full stop, take a paragraph, given a reference frame for A and B, as shown, so, for A and B, as shown, so this is A, of course, this is your coordinate system, right, having X, Y, Z, three-dimensional. So this is for A, as shown below, so you have A, then you have B, the same thing. So call this X prime, call this Y prime, call this Z prime, call this B. All right. For A and B, as shown below, so you have A and B. Um, let me give you an idea, please, of what you're about to do. Um, this stuff is like coordinate geometry. We talk about your x axis, y axis, and your z axis. But in this case, it's not like the coordinate geometry of your thing, it's just that I'm comparing two things using coordinates x, y, and z. That's all. all right, I'm trying to break it to be as simple as I can. Now, in Galilean inverence or whatever transformation equation, they'll ask you to express um, one particular body right um, with respect to another body that's all what is this please they'll say express b with reference to a or determined by a that's always the language check your passage always express the coordinates of the dog with reference to maybe the medical doctor or whatever so it's always expressing one reference frame with respect to another please take that please take that please for galilean transformation we express, for Galilean transformation, we express the coordinates of, we express the coordinates of a particular body of a particular body in brackets, say B, this way, of a particular body in brackets, say B as measured by another body in brackets, say A in brackets, say A in Galilean inverence or transmission equation we express the coordinates of one body say B as measured by another body, say A as shown below as shown below as shown below check your past question every year you say draw the diagram draw the diagram so you draw diagram short thing you draw diagram so how do you draw diagram look up please it's a very simple something look up so i'll pick up the same thing i'll redraw it um look up please it's as easy as get your x axis get your y axis get your z axis so look up please for a i have look up please for a i have this i have this one here I have this one here. I also have this one here. So this is this is x, this is y, this is z for body A. I'm doing this with reference, I'm referencing B to A. I'll just come here, the same thing. I'll come here this way. Try to draw them as parallel as you can. Try to draw them as parallel as you can to so this. So this one here, that's this. All right. So this is B. B becomes X prime, Y prime, and then Z prime. So you have this.
All right, so look up, please. Look up, please. Given a body, so look up, please. Frame A, look up, please. Frame A is X, Y, Z. Frame B is X prime, Y prime, Z prime. Please take that, please. Given a body in frame B, as shown above, uh, you can just put here, body here, in frame B, something like this. Okay. This is what you always draw, like this thing here. But there's, a, there's some technicalities to it. Look up, look up, look up, look up, look up, look up, please. So here's the question, please. If I start from frame A, if I start from, from frame A here, from here, if I move parallel to this from here, we said if I'm going this way, we call it X. So I'll come here and say this, uh, perhaps from here to here, call this X like this to where I'll have the body. So I have X like this. That's the first one there. And we said this is the origin. This is the origin. If I start from this one here, this particular one, and move, I should have one there, X prime. Please, look up, please. If I start from this one here, and I'm going this way, we said call it X. If I'm starting from frame B, and I'm going this way, call it X prime. So hence, if I start from here, that becomes X. From here, this becomes what here? Yeah? X prime. So I'm having X prime as being equal to here and here. All right, so X from this point to this, X prime from this to this. There's a problem here. I still have this distance. So what will I call it? Why is VT? You are saying this. You see, you've, you've done VT now. Why is it VT? Why is it VT? Huh? No, you've not done it. So you don't understand what we're saying. They, they have the notes. They're saying that from here to here. In your notes, what you, what you do in class, you say that from here to here is VT. Why is it VT? That's the question. Displacement. Because of what there? Velocity is equal to what there? Displacement over what there? Time. That's, that's the idea. So if I cross multiply now, it becomes this times 1, x is equal to what? This and this, vt. So it's saying this, look up please. If I'm moving from here, look up here now. From here to here is x. From here to here is x prime. Starting from here. If I'm to start from here again, I should have what there? Another x. But we can't have two x's in quotes in one question. So hence, I'll express the next x in terms of what there? Vt. I've showed you there. That x equal to vt. That means from here to here, I have vt and I have this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all about Galilean invariance. That's all. Two coordinates, x, x prime, vt. That's all. Yes, yeah, a question, please. What? To be what? No, relax. You're coming there. Just relax, relax, relax. I know you've done it. That's why. Just why, relax. I'm coming there. I'll, I'll, I'll explain why it's so. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Please parallel, right to this one here. This one should be parallel to this. But if you want to draw slant, so no problem. But I think if you draw it parallel, it gives your eye a nice view of it, right? Look up, please. From the above, look up, please. From the above, from the above, you can see that, look up, please. You can see that distance from here to here, that's x, is equal to distance from here to here, or perhaps distance from here to here, that's vt plus distance from here to here. So I'm saying all here is equal to this one here plus this one here becomes vt plus x prime let's make x prime subject of the formula the tax will be simple move vt over here so i'll have that x minus vt is equal to what x prime in other words i have that x prime is equal to what x minus vt this is your first equation so when they ask you for Galilean transformation equation, the equation is simple. That x prime is equal to x minus vt. 
I'll show you how it's done there. So that's all. That's all. Like that's all. Literally all. That's all. But the question is like, when they give this stuff in question, can you dissect it to get this? That's not the thing there. But relax, let's proceed. If you're done, please let's proceed. X is just direction. It's just X direction, Y direction, Z direction. X prime. X is the direction for body A. Alright, so X, Y, and Z are the coordinates of body A. X prime, Y prime, Z prime are the coordinates of body B. That's all. Yes. Sorry? What's the passage to be checked now? I said if a body is placed in frame B. So a body in frame B. So that's it. Take down, please. Also, also note that for Galilean transformation equation, y is equal to y prime, z is equal to z prime, and t is equal to t prime. Please note. This is the simple idea of Galilean transformation equation. The only one that is a bit complex is x, or perhaps x prime, which you said is x minus vt, y is equal to y prime, z equal to z prime, c is equal to t prime. If you're here, let's proceed, please. Hence, if you're here, hence, the coordinates of B, so here, hence the coordinates of B as determined by A is given by All right, so that's it. So hence, the coordinates of B as determined by A is given by, so you have A of X, Y, Z, T, then B of X prime, Y prime, Z prime, and T prime. So you have this. Huh? T is time. You see, you see the question, they give you time. So T is time. All right, so please, T is time. Um, okay, yeah. All right, let's start with an easy example. Please check your question, please. An event occurs at x equal to 100, 200, y equal to 20 meters, x equal to 100 meters, please, y equal to 20 meters, z equal to 10 meters, comma, t equal to 2.0 times 10 to the power minus 4 seconds in a frame S, full stop. Find the coordinates of this event in a frame S prime, which is moving with velocity, 2.7 times 10 to the power, 8 meter per second. Solution, please. Please help me, please. Um, list that parameter, please. What's, uh, what's the first you're giving there? X. How many? 200 meters. Next up. Y equal to how many? Sorry? 20 meters. Next up. Z equal to how many? Sorry? 10 meters. Next up, T, how many? 2.0 times minus 4 seconds. Finally, V, how many? 2.7 meter per second. All right, so look up. Sorry? Uh, please, it's 200, please. Use 200, please. X is 200, please. So look up. Look up. This is the easiest example you can get. I want to use this to illustrate one or two things then. Look at much more complex stuff. So look up, please. We said, look up. We said, coordinates of, please check. In this, in this question, you are giving two frames. What and what? S and S prime. So look up, please. Coordinate of S prime as determined by S becomes S of what? 
x y z t arrowhead to x prime into what that x prime y prime z prime t prime very easy something now recall so look up please i will have this my my tax will now be fitting these values fit in these values that's all i have x there that's all i have y there that's all i have z there that's all i have t no problem come to s prime for the values here x prime i have to calculate we said x prime is equal to what there x minus vt so find it there that's one y prime is equal to what there y no problem z prime is equal to what there z then t prime equal to what there so we are done so but let me start with the easy one but we said x prime is equal to what there so perhaps you can say but using galilean transformation equation please but using galilean transformation equation x prime is equal to x minus vt give me values please x 200 minus v times t this one here 2.7 times 10 to the power 8 times so this is v times t 2.0 times 10 to the power minus 4 uh, okay minus 4 so x minus vt that's all this is equal to 200 please give me this product what do you have sorry 4000 54,000. 54, 1, 2, 3. Please help me confirm this is correct. It's correct. All right. Please give me value, please. So it means that X prime minus 48,000 minus 53,800. 800. Of course, in meters. So look up, please. We've gotten X prime. These ones are not a problem. We know that also y is equal to, sorry, y prime is equal to y, which is equal to 20 meters. Z prime is equal to z, which is what there? 10 meters. And t prime is equal to t, which is what there? 2.0 times 10 to power minus four seconds so we have this all right so therefore therefore if you're here take down please therefore therefore the coordinates of s prime as determined by s is given by so look up please i have is given by so i have s they said x first what's x please 200 look up so you see what i'm doing So S, X here is 200. So it becomes 200 in meters, comma, Y. Y is 20. So it becomes 20 in meters, comma. Next up, Z. Z is 10. So it becomes 10 in meters. For each of them, put their SI units and use a comma to separate. Very important, please. And then T. T is 2.0 times 10 to power minus four okay seconds thank you seconds all right to s prime for x prime what do i have what's x minus 53 800 meters y prime is equal to y 20 meters z prime is equal to z 10 meters t prime equal to t 2.0 times 10 to the power minus 4 seconds. Please, it should be in a straight line. And this is all. This is all. This is like the easiest question you can ever get. Question, no? Question. In this question, I'm giving the value of y and z. What if? What if I'm not giving y and z? Because in some questions, they won't give you y and z. So what do you do there? Become zero. All right. All right. Please check example two. Please check again, please. Um, a vehicle moving at two to five kilometer per hour 
and conveying a passenger, comma, and conveying a passenger passes a woman standing on a platform at 0, 0.00 hours. Full stop. 50 minutes after the vehicle passed the woman, comma, the woman on the platform determines that a dog running along the track in the same direction as the vehicle is 1,500 kilometers away. Full stop. Where are the coordinates of the dog as the mine by the passenger? You also see what? Uh, okay, same thing now, right? But that is where what? Whichever way. All right. Um, look up, please. First things first. Look up, please. First things first. Um, list out parameters, please. What's the first you have there? Velocity. V. How many? Kilometers. Per hour, okay. What next do you have, please? Time C. How many? 50 minutes. Okay. What else do you have again there? Sorry? Sorry? So they said in the direction as the vehicle is what there? 1500 kilometers away. Please, what you have there is your x direction. That's 1500 kilometers. So Quote me right, if you're giving just one direction, it's always x. So quote me right. If you're giving just one direction, said in a direction, they give you a distance of 1,500. That distance is always x. So that's how you know it. All right. They said, what are the coordinates or where are the coordinates of the dog as determined by the passenger? Now, calm down. Check back to your A and B. When we did B as determined by A, it was A first, is bracket, and then B. So if this one says coordinates of dog as the man by what there? Passenger. Which comes first? Passenger or dog? Check. In the example, when I explain, we did coordinates of B as determined by A. Which one came first? Was it A or B? It was A, those brackets, then B. In this case, it said, what are the coordinates of the dog as what there? Determined by what? Passenger. Which one comes first? Passenger. So, it's, so if they say, see, here's the idea. Here's the idea about reference frame. They say coordinates of dog as determined by passenger. Passenger because what there? The reference. So it is a passenger that's doing what there? Determining what there? The dog. So passenger first before dog. All right. So it means I'll have something that looks like this. Passenger X, Y, Z, T and then dog x prime y prime z prime t prime that's all no big deal the challenge will always be how do i mask out the diagram that's always the challenge okay um that's one one, one side uh, next up next up please am i converting yes or no am i converting yes or no converting what to what uh okay all right Please, let's do conversion, please. Now, listen. Listen. I would advise, in this case, convert it to, uh, to your simplest form. For instance, V, those of you that were not here last, on, last Saturday, our last class, I showed them conversion. I said, this is the easiest way to do conversion. If I have V being equal to 225 in kilometer per hour, I said the tax is simple. Separate the numbers from the units. So 225, this. This will be equal to, your next tax is to repeat the number. Repeat this, what do I have there? 225. Of course, if I want to convert kilometer to its basic unit, it becomes meter. R is time. That becomes what there? Seconds. So that will be equal to, question is this. When I separate the number from the unit, I will assume here to be 1 and 1. Please. Separate the number from units. Assume here to be one and one. One kilometer is how many meters? So it becomes 10 to the power what there? Three meter. That's 1,000. Next up, one hour is how many seconds there? 60 times 60 seconds. So conversion will become simple. So that's now equal to this times this. 225 times 10 to the power 3 all over this. This and this. 3,600 meter per second, meter per second. 
I don't know how to stress the game. Always shift out the number from the unit. Then assume this one to be one and one. One kilometer is simply 1,000 meter. That's all. One R becomes 60 times 60. You have this, please. Please give me final answer. What do I have here? Sorry? 62.5 meter per second. That's equal to 62.5 meters per second. All right, so we've successfully converted um, velocity to 62.5 meter per second. Let's convert time to seconds. For this one here, it's as easy as multiplying this by 60. That gives you what there? 3,000 seconds. Of course, this in kilometers, convert to meters because what there? This, 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 multiply by what there? 10 to the power 3 meters. Now listen, listen. This is multiplied by 1,000. Why am I using this one here? Because I know that I will write this one here in a coordinate. Passenger, x becomes 1,500 times 10 to the power 3 meters. This one is easier to write than now writing this 0, 0, 0. You, you, you make it look complex. So that's why I'm leaving it like, like this. So if you want to multiply by 1,000 and increase the 0, no problem. But you make it to be lengthy. That's the idea. I think we are done with conversion. The next task will now be drawing your diagram. I think it's like the most important step, drawing diagram. Now listen, listen. Please check the question, which was determining which? Please check. No, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Let's not even go there. That will make it too complex. I know that my diagram will always be like this. It will always be like this. This, 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 and then this, 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 this. This, is, this will always be your diagram. Always. So it's not a task of who will be here and who will be here. That's all. Alright. So I'll sketch this. For my diagram, I'm having this. Um, this one here. This one. This one. And then this. So this is X. This is Y. This is Z. And then the next one here. Draw them parallel. This one here. This one here. This is X prime. Okay. This is Y prime. This is Z prime. Um, please check. Look up, please. Look up, please. Go back and make reference. Go back and make reference, please. So look up, please. Now listen. 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 So, whatever you ask to do that day, it is this. Like always this. Two funny looking triangular things placed together. That's all. Now, which will be which? That's the question. In the, in the, in the, in the example we did, we said it was B. When the stop was at B there, it was B um, that was, it was coordinate of B that were being determined by A. And I had this one here. In this one here, they said the coordinates of the dog as determined by passenger. Please, the one that is being determined by the other should be here. Coordinates of B as determined by A. Your question says coordinates of dog as determined by passenger. Hence, the dog will come here. So dog will come here this way. It now depends on how you want to express that one there. If you want to express the dog as you want to draw the dog, good luck to you right here all right so just dog and then this all right so that's all please so it's just dog this way there what's the distance there what's the distance there check now check look up hold on check this was the value of x abby yes so what's the x there so 1,500 kilometers. Sorry? Uh, no, 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 no. That is for the solving. In the diagram, you're free to say kilometer like this. It's okay. All right. The times 10 is what you're doing the solving. You have to convert to solve. But the diagram, you don't have to do that one. No. You can just stop here like this. So you have this one here. Please, what was the velocity of the bus again? So you can come here and say V equal to. Two to five kilometer 
they are. This, ladies and gentlemen, is your diagram. This is your diagram. All right. So it means that x is equal to what's x there? 1,500 kilometer, which equal to 1,500 times the power there, eh? three meters. What's v there? V is equal to 225 kilometer per hour. That's equal to what there? Eh? 62.5 meters per second. What else? T is equal to what there? Eh? 50 minutes. That's what there? Eh? 3,000 seconds. All right. So we know that. We know that. Um, please, from here, what y? y prime is equal to y which is equal to what there zero y i'm not given z prime is equal to z which is equal to what there zero y i'm not given let's get x prime x prime is equal to what there x minus vt what's x there so this minus v converted value 62.5 times t converted value 3000 all right so x minus vt this is equal to 1500 times 10 to the power 3 minus what do you have it please 187500 okay please see if you can subtract this for me please so x prime is equal to Minus one eight six ten to part three in what there meters. Please confirm this answer, please. Let's proceed. Confirm is correct, please. Let's proceed. He said this. He said if I subtract this, I will have this. Please confirm it, please. Hope you use brackets here. Yeah. All right, please. So you can see what that one, three, one, two, five. Sorry, zero, zero. Is that all? In meter. This is why you have to come to class with calculator and punch, please. All right. So therefore, the coordinates of of the dog. I want to use D. To represent dog as determined by the passenger that P is all right, so it becomes P. So P we said is X Y Z T. Give me X again. X again. One five zero zero times ten to the power what there? Three meters. So x what y? Zero z zero t three thousand seconds to the dog d x prime one three one two five zero zero meters y prime zero z prime t prime uh, yes, so we said t is equal to t prime, uh, the same thing. So t prime and t are the same thing. That's 3000 seconds. All right, that's how you solve this space. So if you look at it actually in the actual sense, it's actually simple. It's just a diagram that's a bit technical. Yes, but it's simple. Um, that's it.